So this is a previous uh, Japanese black pine that I uh, put some wire on. It's growing in a one litre pot. As I say, they're coming into their um, fourth year of grow now. As we can see immediately, we've got some lovely white root tips. So that shows the roots are active. So there's no problem with um, pruning these off because the um, as the roots are growing, they're going to regrow again very quickly. So what I'll do first is get some of the debris off. We've got a nice little section of roots there. I'll clean the top off. I managed to get these a bit drier, so I brought them in for just a couple of days in the in the uh, room here. So just makes it a little bit easier when the compost is not sodden. So I'll break the sides up next and tease them down. So what I'll do is put this into the half seed tray and hopefully we can get a bit more uh, spread on the trunk with the roots being able to grow out radially instead of growing straight down. I've got quite a few seedlings as well so I'm going to uh, try growing some of those in like uh, root trainers which are quite deep pots so that will encourage the really long roots and they'll be suitable for in a few more years suitable for like training for some root over rock pine which are quite popular so I'll get some root trainers sorted out and I can find the uh, nice deep ones I need so we've got quite a few th more things planned for uh, repotting and growing on got a nice selection of trees to work with and I've got some that are starting to look a bit more like bonsai so that'll be uh, very encouraging for me and there we are. it's got a nice like fibrous root ball there so what I'll do is gently snip just the longer curl off the roots and then hopefully I can get a nice flat base and get these roots spreading out in the seed tray as well so as I've not cut any of the uh, foliage off the tree I won't reduce the roots too much just break that up a little bit inside and I've got some nice white tips underneath as well the nice fibrous roots right I'll pot him up got the uh, half seed tray another good quality one so I'll put some compost in the bottom I've already put some wire in ready as I wire this one in as it's not been um, trained for a flat root system before what I'll do is I'll spread these roots out Chopstick, quite as readily as possible there. Just got some compost. Where does it feel a little bit under there? I think. not that stable in the sea tray at the moment Again. not that stable at the moment but I'm getting firmed in that's getting feeling better there we are. top of the root ball there I'll just wire this one in and snug the tr 
tree in nicely. There we are, let's wire him in, leave the bit the uh, middle of the wire over there so it's not gonna prick my fingers at a later date. Just finish chop sticking this in just around the edges and over the nice fibrous roots that we left on there. And I'll give this a thorough watering in and then this can go straight back outside in a little sheltered spot where I've been putting all the freshly potted trees. And that should make some nice fibrous roots. The fibrous roots are like microscopic kind of root hairs that uh, grow on the roots and they transport all the watering nutrients to the tree where the thicker main roots are mainly to like anchor the tree into the substrate or soil really so the whoops needle in there the tiny hair like feeder roots grow quite quite rapidly but if you wash all the roots off then you're gonna uh, kill those off so it's gonna Put the tree a few weeks behind while it makes new roots. I'll right, give that a very thorough watering. Right, so we'll look at the next one. I'll put him out of the seed tray. Pop that in to be washed. And what have we got? Got some nice white roots on there. The slugs in there, so I'll scrape the top of the compost away so we can get some nice fresh compost on top. Nice little root beside there, get away the bits of moss and weeds to begin with. that up as I say I brought these in for a couple of days and they dried out quite quickly which is another good sign if your trees are starting to dry out then that also will tell you the roots are quite active so what I plan to do with these two that are in the seed trays originally is to pop them into some smaller bonsai pots I think they should fit quite well so I'll break the sides up Stick a root there, just so we've got a bit of room for the new compost. Nice little bit of moss there. Just check for any dyed withery roots, but they all look okay. It's getting a nice, quite a nice spread of roots there. So I'll just expose that a little bit without knocking too many of the little finer roots off break the sides up nicely so that goes into the fresh soil so down here in South West Cornwall these pines seem to sort of grow really slow well grow all year round but obviously in the winter it's quite slow but they definitely uh, keep making grow so pay attention to the corners here we've got a nice flat base to begin with as these have been trained in the seed tray and then what I'll do is just Tease a few of the longer roots off, just break it up just gently under there so we can get some compost around. Pull these a bit, so I'll take about like a, a third to a half of these longer roots off as I haven't reduced any folded only very slightly on the tree snip these to begin with 
closer closer look what I'll do is just cut the edges as well this, this is really good that was really cheap but they really kept the sharpness so I just um, sharpen them up with a like fine stone and I think that one would be lovely nice and flat and just tease it very gently and then you can get in such a lovely smell of um, like um, pine resin it's really lovely it's one of my favorite smells actually the pine resin just make sure we've got the bits of root I've cut off and removed from under there there we are and get the potting station set up a couple of these left so they're not actually much smaller than the, the actual seed tray look but they are very slightly just a half a centimeter or so deeper so I think they'll be perfect for potting these on so I'd like to get the growth a little bit more compact and not so vigorous now so I've got my little bit of mesh in the bottom put some in the bottom there snap that all to the corners and hold the mesh in place I'll get my trick there we are it's going to fit in there quite nicely make sure the roots are into the pot I'll backfill this with some compost and what we'll do is make more and what I'll do is just make sure it's going down the edges nicely where it's quite tight under there give it a nice firm in again In nicely, we've got a really nice fibre roost pad near the trunk there, so it's just more the edges and making sure we've got all the roots in full contact with the fresh compost. Up again, just firm that around the edge nicely for the ease of watering right up over the trunk. Compost. I think that will fit in there quite nicely in a sheltered spot for a little while. Now yeah, give it a thorough watering in several times. That washes all the little soil particles around the sides. It's not too bad today outside actually, it's just kind of overcast but it's quite warm so once I finish these I'll pop them outside and do some more tidying up in the garden ready for the coming growing season. There's quite a bit starting to come out in leaf, particularly the um, trident maples and Japanese maples, they're starting to leaf out and the larches as well so I'll give you an outside show soon right this is the third one see track I can see the nice long roots are quite similar so the same sort of procedure I'll just rake the top off to get some nice fresh compost around the top long root there be careful of that one Any weed seeds and debris off the top. So these are in a slightly more grittier compost, so it's just garden compost and perlite and grit. But I've added extra grit as the pines like a, a bit freer draining compost, particularly as it's so wet here, it kind of 
they can sit in the wet for months over the winter which isn't very healthy for pines really oh, it's got quite a nice exposed root there and one the other side so it's a little bit unbalanced I haven't been like a perfectionist with the roots but that's something I can start to do for future growing I'll finish teasing the roots out of this same as before I'll just break the edges up and tease the longer roots out just cut the longer roots off we can nothing too drastic just kind of about a third of the longer ones up there a nice flat base under there we'll just break that up just gently to get the roots to go into the new soil I'll just tease them outwards as well really encourage them to grow outwards That's quite a nice pad. I think that's just gonna fit. I'll just snip a bit off the edge there. It's gonna be a little longer root there, so I'll just snip that off. I think that will fit nicely. Get my potting set up. There we are, it's the same size pot as the other one, just a bit of compost on there mesh to hold that in place on the bottom I'll just firm that into the corners a gentle wiggle right get me tree and try that for some that's going to fit in there quite nicely I think plenty of room around the edges backfill him and firm him in Firming in a couple of times. Right, I'll finish off just making sure the edges are full up with compost for the new roots to grow into, and it's all making good contact with the new compost so there we are that's the pines potted up it's still holding <laughs> that's the one that could have done with the double wire so perhaps I can go back and rewire that at a later date when the tree's got a bit more strength and has recovered from its ordeal but I'm quite pleased with how that one's shaping up it's in a small plastic bonsai training pot this is one with the double wire I managed to get a bit of a better curve on that one I just got these branches to wire down when I get some more uh, two millimeter wire it's a bit of a curve on the top so it's popped in a bonsai pot to recover and grow on so I'm quite pleased with that one yeah I learned a lot from uh, making these videos today that's the third one in a half C tray so he's beginning his little bonzo journey hopefully I mean to get a bit of a curve in the trunk there like it's still holding so that's good that would have probably benefited from a double thickness of wire as well so I hope you found this uh, enjoyable I certainly enjoy making these videos I find it helps my memory a great deal as well it's just easier to remember when I'm like talking to the camera and then I can recall things a lot better I'm going to work on the trees again what I did before so thank you uh, very much for watching as always your comments and likes are always greatly received so as always take care out there stay safe and I look forward to catching up with you all very shortly thank you very much for watching goodbye for now